What's up everybody, this is Phil from MDC and today is a Matchbox episode. I've got a couple of in-store cars, okay. We have a couple of main lines here, I believe FG. I think it's the G case or, yeah, I believe Matchbox continues. So I think, I think we're still looking at the G case here. And uh, surprisingly enough, I have a little surprise at the end of the video as well. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to check out these cars here. We do have the 2021 Koenig Seg uh, Gemera in this awesome looking silver color. We're going to crack this guy open. We have the 2021 Corvette Stingray. Looking pretty awesome in this pearl white. And we do have this guy. This is a brand new casting, I believe. Really stoked about opening this one up, guys. We do have the Toyota 4Runner. I believe it's a brand new casting from uh, Matchbox. It just looks stunning. Can't wait to get this one opened. And on top of that, we do have the 1995 Nissan Hardbody D21. And these pretty cool off-road looking colors awesome enough and the surprise for the end of the video everybody i finally received my mattel creations 2020 corvette in golf livery okay been waiting for this guy for a long time the first matchbox that i order from uh, mattel creations and it really kind of took a long time to get here. But we finally have it. And we are going to finally crack it open. So let's slide the trusty camera over to the trusty turntable. And let's check out some Matchbox. So here we are, let's set up the camera, and I guess I will do that with you guys on pause. Look at everybody, we're going to start off with, well, I guess we'll do the trucks first, uh, or you know what, no, we'll do the cars first. So let's open up this gorgeous, gorgeous 2021 Koenigsegg Jamera, uh, first time I received one from Matchbox. Or a second time. Actually, I don't remember. I have so many cars, guys, I just don't even remember anymore. But I know I don't have it in this color. So let's crack her open and let's check it out. And definitely not disappointing. This color is just something else. There's the Konex symbol right here on the back. Beautiful metallic silver, yellow interior. I was going to say yellow tinted windows, but that's not yellow tinted windows. Those are clear windows with the yellow interior. Five star mags, which I don't really know if it suits this car too much, the five star mags, but definitely a good looking vehicle. Love this color, honestly. Details great. Do have back tampos on the lights can't see them very well because the lights are very very small but they do have tampo there so we do have backlights and we do have headlights which are pretty cool very nicely done I guess the mags will grow on me, actually. They don't look too bad. I always like these mags from Matchbox. It just depends on the car that they put them on. I do like the 5 star chrome, though. Not a bad looking car. Next, let's crack open this Corvette. Well, you know what? Maybe we should do the Corvette last because I've got another Corvette to open. So let's check out this 95 Nissan Hardbody D21. Love the colors on this. Really does give it that off-road rally vibe. Let's get it open. There we go. Away with the blister. And love it already. Has a tow hook. That is so cool. Love when Matchbox does that. Side mirrors. 
looks great. Actually, like the wheels on this one too. You have the spare tire chains in the back. That is one good looking truck. Matchbox did an awesome job on this casting. Could have done the tail lights all the way around. They did them on the side, but they did not. Actually, they didn't even do it on the side. It's really the side tampo that just crosses over. Okay, so it has no tail lights and no headlights. But the rest of the real estate is done with tampo work. And still is a good looking truck. Now you gotta love Matchbox for that. For regular cars that you see every day, Matchbox just nails them. Looking pretty sweet. Okay, now the one that I really want to open everybody. This one I am very stoked about is the Toyota 4Runner. And I think they may they think they really nailed this one, to be honest with you. By the look of it in the blister pack. Does come with a special insert as well. Look at that. Really sweet. Wow, they nailed this truck. Look at this. Right away, you can tell front, they did an amazing job. Headlights, tampo work. Rear, tail lights, tampo work. I mean, they did a great job. Even the gray piece for the, uh, the metal in the front. They just did a beautiful beautiful job on this truck now I must say this is almost perfect side mirrors sunroof I mean the color is gorgeous that front just looks so realistic you know it must have been extremely hard to get that groove like the RAV4 and the 4Runners have, the new 2020, 2021, 2020 versions, it must have been very hard for Matchbox to create that. Even on the back, we have the perfect cut of the panel. I mean, for a $2 car, guys, or a $1 car, Matchbox nailed this one out of the park. This may, I know the year has just begun, but this might be my number one for this year. We will find out as the year goes on, but I think this one might be hard to beat. Very, very sweet. Okay, now we're going to get into a couple of Corvettes, everybody. And we're going to start off with this basic white one with these blacked out wheels. And this is the 2020 Corvette. And the next one we're going to open is also the 2020 Corvette by Matchbox. Except that one is $2 and the other one is, what, $50, $60, whatever it is. Wow, this blister pack didn't want to open very nicely, so we destroy it. And here it is. And this is a, well, it's a pretty good white. I mean, it's a it's, uh, basic... Gloss metallic white. Do like these wheels. Blacked out. Not bad. We do have front tempo lights, but no rear. And there she is. Not too bad. I mean, the casting is nice. Crazy. You know, my last video I said I wasn't going to collect uh, too many Corvettes because I just have too many in my collection. And here I am showing one more Corvette. And then I have another Corvette. And then my next video, guys, I'm dropping a leak. But my next video is Hot Wheels. And I did find the full eight car set of, you guessed it, Corvettes. So... My stopping of collecting Corvettes is not going all that well, guys, as you can see. But anyway, doesn't matter. Let's get into these Corvettes. Put this guy aside. 
And let's check this guy out. Move the trusty turntable over. Uh, we crack this bad boy open. All right. This is the package it comes in. Okay. Basic. Very basic. Here's your information. You guys want to pause and read. And here's the information and sponsors on the back. All right. There's all that. Now, let's crack her open. I have not even taken pictures of this yet on Instagram, guys. So, here we are. Came right out of its whole package deal. Let's put it back in its package deal just to show you guys how it comes. It does come like this. All right. There's your box inside a box. There's the back. Pretty cool. Actually, the back looks really, really awesome. Like that. There is no number. Matchbox. I don't know if Matchbox does number anything, but there is none on these. And also inside, as you can see, it is not numbered. Okay. And there she is. There's the model, everyone. Now that's a pretty good looking car. Let's get it out of its prison and let's see just how good looking it is. There we are. Oh, that's really awesome. This car, guys, okay, is a matte. The golf colors are all matte. Okay, that is really sweet, actually. I wasn't expecting that. Actually, I didn't know what to expect, guys. Like I told you, this is the first Mattel Creations dash RLC matchbox that I get. So I really don't know what to expect from it, everybody. But the matte colors was definitely not something I was expecting. I did think it was in a gloss. But it is not. Oh, that is sweet. That is sweet. Okay, we do have a plastic base, which is a little bit disappointing. A premium car. And we have a plastic base. It's almost uh, Super Treasure Hunt-like instead of uh, premium. But anyway, it is matte. The colors are all matte. Which is pretty awesome. I do like that look. It's sitting on real riders. We do have basic plastic hubcaps. Or mags as you want to say. Sorry. Not hubcaps. Uh, mags. Uh, hmm, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what to think everybody. Let's put the trusty turntable down. Let's let it spin a little bit so you guys can see it. I mean, the car is, it is pretty decent looking. It's not bad at all. Now, the tempo in the back, I guess, looks uh, all right. Now, the headlights in the front look a little cheesy, I think. I think the graphics on the, the headlights are a little cheesy. They don't look realistic at all. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what to think. I mean, I, I do think the car is pretty decent. The colors, as I said, it is golf. It is matte. Not bad. I do like that. We're sitting on real riders. That's that's pretty decent too. But the plastic base. I don't know. It almost doesn't look. It almost doesn't look premium everybody. That's that's the problem I'm having a bit with it. I mean the, the body. Just the way it is. Almost doesn't seem metal. Seems almost plastic, but it's not. You can you can feel the weight. It is metal, but it just feels and sounds a bit plastic. But it's definitely not. They're, they're, the mirrors, I don't know, they're not redefined enough. 
Anyway, maybe I'm being a little bit too picky, everybody. I mean, the car is really, really sweet, okay? But if you do look at the, the headlights on the main line, well, well, no, they're, they're, they're almost the same. It's just on the main line, it just looks a little bit more realistic. I don't know why. This car almost looks a little bit cartoony. That might be the problem I'm having with it. But anyway, pretty decent. Will I order another Matchbox from from Mattel Creations? I don't know. It's going to have to be a really good one. Because they're not really RLC quality to me. And that's my opinion. I guess I'm pretty turned off with the plastic base, first of all, as RLCs usually have metal bases. I figured maybe this one should be sitting on a metal base as well. But that's my pickiness. Anyways. Guys. Till next time. Be safe. Be well. Happy hunting. Let me know uh, what you think in the comments guys. If you got it. You think it's worth it. If you didn't get it. You think you'd want to get it. I want to hear from you guys. So till next time guys. Please smash that subscribe button. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what's up. All right. Ciao.